recent events involving the Wolf Islander 4 should remind us all that marine emergencies arise unexpectedly. That being the case, it's perhaps time for another important reminder. And we'll make it using her sister ship, the Amherst Islander 2. It wasn't luck that enabled the captain and crew of the Wolf Islander 4 so successfully to deal with the circumstances they encountered. All of the men and women who serve us so well on our local ferries have undergone training in the management of marine emergencies. In a quiet, purposeful way, usually unseen by the public, they maintain the skills they've learned in drills and exercises throughout the year. One of the very understandable reasons behind delays in introducing the new ferries into service was the need to acquire a knowledge of and a familiarisation with new systems on the new boats. There's a strong practical aspect to crew training in this regard. Which takes us to Stella in October. Crews must thoroughly understand and be exposed to the use of emergency equipments periodically. What you're witnessing here is the deployment of a marine evacuation system. The operation of a system like this must be completed at least every two years, although it doesn't have to be from the same vessel. Crew members on any vessel with a similar system must either undergo specific training on the system or witness its deployment and have a full understanding of their role in its use. Of course, a great way to gain that understanding is to experience the use. And that's where we'll leave this particular exercise with a fuller appreciation of the work behind the scenes that our captains and crews do to prepare for every eventuality. Thanks for watching and thank a member of crew the next time you travel.